Hello, it's the Friday Talkie, on a Friday. Mm. OK, first things first, happy birthday, Deadly Headshot. He's a long-time subscriber, follower on Twitter, commenter, all-round nice guy. So uh, it's his birthday today, happy birthday. Now then, a um, couple of things to talk about. First of all, YouTube, in their um, eternal wisdom, uh, with inverted commas, have changed something else. Your inbox, if you knew it still existed, it now doesn't. Well, it kind of does. It's read only. You can't send me you can't send PMs via the inbox thing. They've uh, you know done away with it. Now you have a thing called messages, which you get to by going to your creator studio. Yeah, the, the old dashboard thing. You click your, you've got a community tab link thing down there on the left. And the second thing down, you've got comments and then you've got messages. So you click messages and hey presto, there's all your PMs, I guess. Uh, yeah, you have, d uh, am I going to point the camera? You know, I just, I can't be bothered to point the camera on it. Keep your eye on, at the top of the page, you've got approved messages, filtered messages, likely spam and sent messages. You might, it's worth checking out the filtered and likely spam because it will filter out stuff that you really don't want it to. Um, but it's easy to miss them. It's like on Facebook. Other messages? What the hell is that all about? I miss so many PMs from people because it puts them in a different box that I don't look at. Duh. Facebook, stupid. So is YouTube. There you are. Yeah. Uh, create a studio, community, messages. That's how to get to your PMs now. Uh, you send them the same way you used to, I think. You go to a person's about page and click send message. Something like that. Don't ask me why. I think it also screws up blocking. So if you blocked someone, you probably have to block them again or something. Maybe. It's weird and pointless, and I don't know why they do it, but they just... It's like they seem to have this need to justify their existence at Google by messing about with things that don't need messing about with. There you go, just thought I'd mention it. Moving on. Okay. Uh, video response to T-Rex Space Station. He asked a question. Do you watch videos to the end, and do you... Do you, do you care about YouTube retention statistics? Um, no and yes, in that order, which is kind of silly, really. Uh, yeah, do I watch videos to the end? No, I, well, it depends. It depends on who it is and what they're talking about. There are some channels that I watch religiously, and they are just so good that I watch everything that they say. They're, they're just really good at what they're doing. Some, some, some people have the gift of the gab and the ability to convey a message in a manner that is interesting with no, no gaps, no pauses, no dead air. And they're very entertaining with it or funny or something. And I will watch them from start to finish. The key to it, I suppose, is um, keep it short. But this comes on to the other bit. Do you care about YouTube retention statistics? How long a person watches your video for? Ha, ha. Do they watch it all the way through? How much do they watch before they leave? It affects how high you rank in searches or on the suggested videos thing. Um, retention matters, minutes viewed matters. So there's a bit of a balancing act there because my retention, something about that word, is quite low because I make long videos. Um, Call me, uh, what's what? Call me something. I can't think of the bloody word now. Uh, self indulgent. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm a bit self indulgent and I will waffle on for ages because I love the sound of my own voice, some people would say. I just like to talk. Um, and that loses people. You know, they'll watch for a bit and then think, oh god, this guy's really waffling on. He's just gas bag, whatever, and they'll leave. Uh, totally understandable. I would. If I was watching my videos, <laughs> I wouldn't watch all the way through. And that's a thing. It affects your statistics and how high you rank. But also, number of minutes viewed matters as well. 
So if someone watches 100% of a 1 minute video or 25% of a 10 minute video you, you get a better result out of that longer video. Um, I don't know what the balance is, what, what the weighting is, minutes viewed compared to percentage of the video viewed. But yeah, I do care about the statistics, but not enough to change what I do, I guess. I kind of watch them, I look at them with interest and think, hmm, and then carry on doing exactly what I always did, which is blathering on like this. But uh, do I... Do I watch videos to the end? Um, it, it really does depend on, on what the person is doing and how they do it. If they do what I do, I won't watch all the way through because uh, I have a short attention span if I'm not absolutely gripped. It is... Um, how well does a person speak? How concise are they in conveying their message? How funny are they? How entertaining are they? If they're sitting and pondering and there's a lot of... I, I don't want to have to wait. It's like I want them to be talking constantly. And if they're pausing or going um and uh and repeating themselves, I'm gone. I'm out of there. And that's completely hypocritical of me because I do all of those things. So uh, those of you who watch and continue to watch through to the end, thank you. You must be very patient. <laughs> but there you are. That, that is my uh, uh, response to T-Rex Space Station. Link to his original video down there. Nova Bug. A uh, bit of a response to one of his videos, actually. Uh, what are your YouTube inspirations? I've kind of answered this one on many occasions before, but I guess I just like answering it. How I got onto YouTube was... Uh, it's not how I come to be doing what I'm doing now, and it's not what inspired me to do what I'm doing now. Uh, I, I got a camera. It was a Sony um, Cybershot thing. Um, and it just happened to take video. And I was fascinated by that because I'd always wanted a video camera and never had one. And all of a sudden, here's this camera, and it will shoot video. So I was like, what can I take videos of? next few weeks or months were filled with videos of my dogs and cats and stuff and then I put up a video of my collection and people were all over it like wow show us more show us your games blah blah those that none of those things were like inspired or anything I was just doing the videos because I had a camera that could shoot video and I wanted to play with it I guess and I figured well since I've made videos and here's this website that will let people watch them. Why don't I? But there was no objective, there was no direction, there was no... I didn't have a clue what I was doing or even why I was doing it. I just put the videos there because I could. And then, after people had started asking me to show my games, I didn't really know how to go about that. I didn't know how to do a gameplay video or what was good and what wasn't. I, I had seen videos with people just gameplay, no talking, and I was like, well, is that the way to go? And then I'd seen ones where people were doing thorough in-depth reviews, and I thought, I, I ain't doing that, because it takes too much effort and too much time, and I'm just plain not good enough. I won't get through the game, and... Uh, so many games, if I was going to cover everything, that would just take too damn long any kind of depth, you know, or fine on the eight, in the 8-bit era, but when you get onto like PlayStation games and, and later stuff like that, no, it would take far too long. So I, I knew I didn't want to do reviews, which left, well, I saw a video, I, I also didn't want to do your uh, angry video game nerd. I had seen him, I found him entertaining for a bit, I no longer watch because it's like seen that all been done before, lost interest. But I knew, you know, that was that it was popular and it was like, okay, gaming can be popular and people will watch, but I don't want to do that. And eventually I saw a guy called Collie UK, who sadly no longer makes videos, but he was doing basically what I'm doing. He was using an emulator, but it was gameplay, just completely off the cuff. Usually he was drunk. Um, or certainly appeared to be. He'd come home from the pub at night, plastered, and play a game and talk all over it and talk absolute bollocks and play appallingly. And the whole point was so you could see what it looked like. So you could decide, do I want to play this? Am I just going to play for five minutes on my emulator? 
it was to help you decide what was worth loading up on your Spectrum emulator or whatever. And he was appalling. It was terrible, you know. Just, he would talk absolute bollocks and play appallingly. And I thought, this is fantastic. If he can do this and get viewers, and he did get viewers, I thought, I can do that. Um, I didn't do it drunk, but, you know, the whole playing badly just to see what it looks like. That was his idea. That wasn't, you know, it's not original. It's not my idea. I ripped him off, more or less. Put my own particular style on it, if you like. Um, yeah, so that's that's where the whole um, playing badly thing came from. So you can see what it looks like. It wasn't my idea. Um, the system reviews. Well, that's just you know no inspiration there it's just I've got these things let's talk about them and uh, the Friday talkie well that was just because I, after doing loads and loads and loads of gameplay videos and the odd system review I thought I want to talk about stuff and I seem to have a lot of stuff to talk about and I thought well doing it on a set day so people know when it's going to be that seems like the way to go keep it predictable if you like because I, I, I'm subscribed to a lot of people and I did find I was missing stuff you know you never quite knew when something was going to come along so I decided right if I'm going to do a talkie and they did seem more popular more people were watching my talkies than anything else I thought I'm going to do them all on the same day and why not that let that be a Friday and it seems to work um, but that was inspired by no one in particular, I don't think. Um, I don't think there was ever a point where I saw someone doing that and I thought, I'm going to do that. I mean, talking to the camera was, uh, people did it, so I just did it as well. Yeah, that's my my YouTube inspirations, mainly Collie UK. I, I have for a long time thought um, Classic Game Room, but actually no, I was doing things the way I do them before I watched him, and I, I don't do what he does because he does full reviews, but it was something about the humour, his kind of humour, I suppose actually did influence me, sort of, yeah, I guess I was probably getting into him and then I started injecting more humour, because that, not everyone gets the humour, I know that, uh, his is probably more accessible than mine, mine is sometimes very dry and sometimes just plain bizarre or stupid, but, yeah, I guess Classic Game Room was an influence there. Not so much an inspiration. It actually, I've mentioned this video before, Super Fart Attack. I did that video, I was just in a bizarre mood and I played this game and I just found it so funny. And that got into the video, I was cracking jokes and some kind of politically incorrect ones at that. Talking about shooting the Pope and stuff. Um, yeah, and the, rea the, the reaction or response to that video was so good, I thought, okay, I've hit something here, this works, be daft. Um, so that just came from me, really, having a good day. Yeah, anyway, uh, link to Novabug's video down there, because that is a response to his what are your YouTube inspirations question, which is part of a longer video link down there. I'm running out of topics already. I'm I'm up to the shout out now. Good lord, where's the uh, where, where are the minutes going? Whatever. Um, this this shout out. I'm not turning the camera around. I'm not doing that anymore for reasons I've already stated. Theodore Tusk. This is not the kind of channel I normally watch or normally shout out. Partly because he's actually doing quite well already, and I. I tried to shout out the smaller channels, but he's got 1,160 subscribers already, but I don't know how many of my viewers will be aware of this channel, because it's a bit different. It is gaming, but it's gaming with a difference. It's gaming with a puppet. And he's a walrus. Theodore Tusk is a gaming walrus, and he's very funny. Um... He swears, or he would swear, except when he swears it's just a walrus, is war kind of, it sounds a bit like a Wookiee actually. Yeah, he, he he does that kind of growling, wailing, walrusy kind of sound. And I just find it funny. Uh, the editing is quite sharp. 
uh, particularly where the, the, the walrusy noise comes in. Um, he's funny, very funny. Um, check him out. I don't expect, or it will be all, pff, God, all of you's kind of, that, that just ain't a sentence, is it? It might not be your thing, all of you, but some of you might find it entertaining. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, Theodore Tusk, link down there, there, somewhere. They move it around anyway, so it doesn't matter where I point. And if you're using a mobile, Android, phone, tablet thing, it'll be somewhere else or not there at all. So, bleh. that's that. Um, what's coming up? Do you know what? I don't know. Uh, I've still got these Game Boy Advance games that I was given, and I must do some of those. Uh, and I've got a whole, just, tons of stuff. Loads. Loads and loads. Um, I've got a couple of uh, plug and plays that I want to show you as well in like, I don't know if I'd call them system reviews, but like overviews. Um, and another thing that's coming along that may be a little bit like that um, portable Mega Drive-y thing, PXP. That had a really good response, that video. It, that, that, I can't remember the last time a video I made gained so many views in such a short space of time. So thank you to everyone who watched that and clicked like or shared it or tweeted it or whatever you did. I don't know what you did, but a lot of people have watched it in a very short space, so thank you. And whatever you did, please do it some more, because <laughs> I, I, I like the views um, and the comments. It's been, um, yeah, the comments on that one have been a lot of fun. Uh, other stuff? Don't know. Don't know. Other than what I mentioned, a couple of, couple of plug-and-play things to look at. Another portable thing is coming along soon. Thanks to Long Rod Von Hugendong for encouraging me to get that. I've been looking at it on eBay and thinking, do I really want to? Do I want to? And it, then he popped up the link to it on eBay and said, you should get this. Sure. I don't know if he said sure. But anyway, <laughs> I... I, I um, I gave in to peer pressure and I bought the thing. So uh, we'll see what that's like when it arrives. Because uh, I do like doing reviews or overviews of things like that. Cheap tat, I mean, I, I don't want to turn into an Ashens because Ashens has the um, the market on being Ashens completely cornered. But gaming tat and stuff like that is fun to look at. Uh, I'll shut up now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the thumbs up button. I upload videos daily, so go ahead and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. To all those who've already subscribed, I'd just like to say a great big thank you.